Hey, yeah, guys. So, uh, so I want to I want to ask you guys, are you finding it hard to to improvise to have speed over your playing? Okay, uh, having speed has been your challenge for over a time. So, uh, for this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to overcome that and how to create speed for yourself. Okay, stuff like this. You can start practice stuff like this. So let me show you the lesson in the key of C, okay? Okay, it's the key of C. So you can start practicing the... Okay. So... Okay, so the number one thing I'm going to show you to start practicing is uh, uh, your chromatic scale, okay? Learn your chromatic scale very well. Stuff like this. This is your root. This is your do. Okay, so you can start playing. Now, one of the things that will help you is... Uh, your alternate picking okay if you don't know how to play an alternate picking you start and learn how to play an alternate so picking. what i mean by an alternate picking is picking your note okay picking your note down up down or stroke something like this you pick the note down and pick it up again okay you pick the note down and pick it up again okay pick the note down and pick it up again okay Okay, so you're gonna play all the notes. Okay, you're gonna play all the notes, either with the diminished notes that are in yeah, box this. here. One, two, three, four. Okay, now this is how it works. This is how it sounds. Okay, do ti do la. Okay, do ti do la so fi fa mi. Okay. Okay, then you now climb to the third string. Re, mo, mo, re, di, do. Okay, mo, re, di, do. Then, to, la, zi, so. To, la, zi, so. Go to your fifth string. Va, mi, mo, re. Okay, va, mi, mo, re. Then to your sixth string. Do, ti, do, la. So this first string is the same with the sixth string. Okay, play it. Then you, uh, you can play it ascending from the. Okay, so when you get to this do now, you just play upward. So when you get to this other la on the sixth string, what you do is you're gonna sharp it, just sharp it to this other to this fret, okay? Then start from here and play it or uh, ascending again. Okay. Then when you play it or uh, descending again, you sharp from here from the first string now. So when you get to this six string, you sharp from the six strings. When you get to this first string again, you sharp it again. So this is the way, this is one of the ways that are going to help you and keep your fingers flexible on the guitar fretboard. Okay, so if you can practice it five minutes every day, five minutes to ten minutes every day, you see your finger getting used to the fretboard and you can able to have speed over your improvisation, okay? Okay, 
So just practice that every day, every day, every day. You're going to see your finger getting used to it. Okay. So the second thing I would like you to learn is your uh, major scale. Okay. Learn your major scale in different box in the guitar uh, in each key. Okay. You can learn in different keys on the guitar fretboard. Like yes, just use the key of C there. Okay. We have the key of C here on the fifth string here. Yeah. These are the root. 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 Okay. This is on the fifth string. This is on the second string. This is on the third string. This is on the first string. This is on the fourth string. And this is on the sixth string. Okay. So we can start from uh, this other shape here. Okay. You can start from here and play it. Your okay. Okay. So from this shape, you can play it downward again, horizontal. So if you can learn that all over the fretboard, you're going to see most times you can even play and it looks as if it's one kind big scale, but it's just an improvisation of the major scale. Okay. So wherever you don't understand, hit on the comment section. Okay.